It's time! Cheers, Bruce. See that? Bit the big time. Roll the intros. Hi guys, welcome back to the Cuddles Bory. This is episode 17 and this is the start of our journey in the Turkish Premier Division. Now, it's taken us two seasons, back-to-back -back promotions, back-to-back -back championships, but this is where it gets hard. This is real where the real deal starts. So, let's go over to the manager screen, have a little look at that, and then we will pick up today's episode from there. A lot has happened. Be excited. Right, guys, so here we go. This is the manager's screen. And as you can see, all my stats are slowly going up. Um, you can see there, 80 wins, 47, uh, 80 played, 47 wins, 15 draws, 18 losses, win percentage, 58%. Still very good. It's above halfway. Um, We've got to the um, Turkish Super League quicker than I expected. So this season has been, um, this sort of pre-season area has been quite difficult. Me trying to bring players in, letting people go, which we will come to in a minute. There's the two gold championships, which is the leagues that we've won. Uh, in the first season, I got manager of the year. And in the second uh season the championship we've just won i came a runner up so that is all hunky dory as well i think as a manager i'm doing quite well my stats are looking quite good but i really need to start doing more badges now that we're in the top league trying to get my stats up a bit further right now that all of that has been said um a lot has happened first of all let's head over to the um club information screen and we'll talk about all that stuff right guys so this screen here this is sort of like it just sort of shows you how much we charge for tickets season tickets all that sort of stuff um, and i don't think we've ever looked at this before but the thing i wanted to show you guys was the favored personnel and the icons as you can see bakai and hacky are actually icons at the club the fans absolutely love those two and i don't know if you've seen it but if you look in the favored personnel you will see that i yours truly is sitting in there, which I'm absolutely loving. Along with Omer, Ronnie, Merkan, you know, not to forget these guys, they've all been instrumental in our rise to the top so quickly. Um, also, while we're here, I'm just gonna head over to the stadium and uh, show you guys what's happened with that. Right, so um, this is the stadium screen and we were playing at a stadium called um, Cartel, um, which only had sort of like a 5,000 sort of um, capacity. It didn't have any under sort of heating or any of that stuff. But since we've been promoted, uh, the club have decided to move us to a new stadium, the Rekeb Tayyip Erdogan Stadium. It's a 14,234 uh, all-seater stadium. It has underground heat, um, under, uh, soil heating. God, I'm getting my words mixed up. Um, it's all great. Um, the pitch is a lot better, and hopefully this will help us with our style of play this season. We had to crack on a bit more. Uh, I'm really, really happy about it, that we've moved stadium and we can get more people to the ground because that's more money. Um, and speaking of money, let's head over to the transfers and see all the ins and outs. Right guys, now before I show you the actual transfer screen, I just wanted to let you know that I'm gonna, uh, I did say in the last episode that I was gonna do like a transfer special, and I haven't really done that so much, but I'm gonna just run through all the players one by one. I'm gonna talk to you about the outs and the ins, and then after that we will crack on with uh, the first game of the episode so let's see who we're saying goodbye to and who we're saying hello to so first up we're going to deal with the outs uh murat tosin was the first guy to leave the club i released him on a free transfer he has since retired he's going to be a scout now i thought about bringing him back to the club but he's not really that um good at scouting so we wish him well in his new career next up is hatan yasa he played right back for us for a couple of years he was a decent enough player he since left um, Carlton Sport on a free. Um, he's going to be an assistant manager now, so we wish him well in his new career. Next one to leave the club was uh, Kumhu. I did think about offering this guy a new contract, but um, 
when the new season started, he's, um, he's sort of like his ratings dropped to two stars from three. He's not good enough for this league. He's good enough for the league below. So I let him go, released him on a three. He did a good enough job for us last season, 16 uh, games played. But we wish him well in his footballing journey. Next up is one of the fans' favourites. And he was one of my favourites in the very first season. It's uh, Ali Kilic. Now, he was really, really good for us uh, in that first year. He was sort of played a bit part for us last season, but you know, um, I let him go. He's moved on to Caselli Berlik. Uh, I think they're in the league below us. He's gone off for 5k. Basically, it's the same thing with Kumher. He's um, basically his ability's just dropped off a bit. He's not good enough for the league we're in. So I thought rather than let his career stagnate, I'd let him move on. And uh, yeah, we wish him well. Next up, this one may be a bit of a shock to you guys, but I let Baris Osbeck go. Uh, he's left the club for just under 10k but we've signed him on a free so I know 10k is not a lot of money but it is still sort of like a, it's still um, a profit um, basically at the end of the season he got sent off twice in two games he showed a bit of a nasty side and um, since he has moved to um, Rostock if you look at his stats, you will notice he's made two appearances in the league and he's been sent off twice. So he's obviously got something about him that I didn't particularly like and, you know, he was good enough for us when he played, but I am glad to see the back of a player like that. Uh, we do wish him well, but he's no longer at Castle Sport. Next up is Salau. Now, I've let Salau move on for just over 10k. Um, Salau's 30 years of age now. He's another one where his ability's just dropped off a bit. He's not good enough for the league. We let him go. He's joined um, Balik, Balik Assist Support. I think that's how you say it. They're the guys we beat 6-0. So hopefully he will shore up their defence for them. And next up going out is Bunyamin Balat. Now Bunyamin Balat is a player with a lot of potential at the club. He's not going to get in the team this season. So I decided to let him go out on loan. Um, he's gone to the same club as Salau. Hopefully he will pick up some experience. Um, try and press his ability on a little bit. I see him as a right midfielder personally. Hopefully that's where they're going to play him. Um, and yeah, it's great stuff. I just hope that um, he can have a really good season with them. His ability can get better. Right guys, so that's all of the outs. There were a few others, but they're not really worthy of mention. They were sort of youth players that we never got used. Um, so now the exciting bit. Let's go over and talk about the guys joining Carl Sport. First up, we have got Amadou Salafu. He is a uh, ball winning midfielder. I will just highlight his um, stats for you here. Um, and yeah, but he's coming in and I'm actually gonna play him as a starter. I see him as a slightly better player than Bakai. Bakai is still a fan favorite and he's still a favorite of mine, but he's just, his ability is not that good for this league. So he's gonna be an impact player off the bench. So, uh, Salafu is coming in from Fiorentina on a free transfer. Um, I think this is a really, really good deal for us. It didn't cost us anything in transfer budget. Two and a half grand a week. Signed on till 2020, so we've got three years with him. He's got a current ability of three stars, potential ability of four. Hopefully, we can try and push that on a little bit as he is 24, so he might not quite reach that, but I still think this is a solid signing for the club. Next up, we've got Valentino Jovic. Jovic is coming in on loan from uh, Red Bull Salzburg. He is just going to be a backup goalkeeper, but I think he's good enough that, you know, if Ennis does get injured, he can come in, do a job straight away. Um, he's got a current ability of two stars, which is a little low, but as goalkeepers, you can get away with it a little bit more. So, yeah, we welcome him to the club. Next player coming in, this one I'm quite excited about, is uh, Martin Samuelson. He's coming in on loan from West Ham. He's a really, really good player. He's very, very versatile in the midfield area. I'm probably going to be uh, utilising him as a right winger. I will show you what his stats are like. This is what he looks like as a right winger. I think this is his best position um, because he doesn't really have the finishing or the movement to play the attacking midfield role. And we don't really play that role anyway. So he's going to be utilised as sort of like a rotational right midfielder. Martin Samuelson is a Carlsborg. Next guy coming in is Tariq Foss Hu. He is coming in from Reading on loan. Um, he's going to be a backup left-sided winger for us. I literally signed him just because we needed someone to play second fiddle to hack it. I have actually signed another player at left mid, but we'll see him in a minute. Um, but this guy, he's just got pace. He's fast and uh, he's, he's good enough. All of his stats are decent enough. I think he'd come in and do a job. Next guy that we're gonna talk about is Giorgio Rasulo. He was offered to me from MK Dons who have just been relegated. Um, he was offered to me for next to nothing. 
If we actually, I'm training him to be a centre mid attack advanced playmaker. His team work and his work rate are a little low, but I think if the rest of the stats can be pushed up and we can get to the work rate to at least 10, I think that he could be a solid player in years to come. We've signed him for 40k, which is, you know, no money at all. Uh, he's got a two and a half star current ability, but with a pe potential ability of three and a half to four and a half stars. We just need to give him game time. If we can't give him it, we'll loan him out. It'll be one for the future, but I'm really, really excited about this signing. Next guy joining the club is Mustafa Akbas. He is coming in on a transfer from Trespanza. He cost us 200K, which is not a lot of money. You look at his stats, there's only one there that really sort of um, is a bit of a down, and that's his decision making. But the rest are very, very solid. He's going to be playing centre back for us. Um, and I just think this is a great deal. And the fact that he's coming from Trabzonspor just shows the progress that this club has been making. Right, next guy joining the club is Tamim. Now, you will notice that a few of his stats are dropping off at the moment, but he picked up a, a bit of an injury. He's still got a couple of days of that injury, but we will be training him up on his acceleration because it's a little low. But he's going to come in, he's going to play fullback for us, he's going to rotate with uh, another guy that we brought in. But his stats are really good, and uh, he came in for 300k which is nothing at all, and he's got great potential. Uh, he can, he's currently two and a half star with a four, four star to five star potential, and I just think this is a very, very smart signing from us, and uh, I'm looking forward to using this guy. Right, next guy joining the club is Erkan Kass. Now, he's actually Turkish, and the thing with this league is you get a limited, limited number of foreign players that you can sign, and the bulk of your squad needs to be make up, made up of Turkish players. And this guy um, is really, I, at first, I was bringing him in just to fill the quota. He was going to be rotation, but I've compared him to Haki, and he's just as good. So him and Haki are going to have to share that left wing uh, role. He's a really, really decent enough player, uh, and you know, at three and a half star ability, he could come into the squad straight away and do a job. He's coming for 550k, which I don't think is a lot of money. Now, I know I've been talking about all these transfers, this money, that money. We were actually given five million pounds by the board. Uh, to spend on uh, players and uh, yeah it's it's brilliant really I've managed to sort the squad out now the balance has taken a bit of a hit but for every win in the league that you get you earn 500k so we will earn that money back as long as we win enough games during the course of the season next guy coming in this is one I am very 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 excited about is Ika Hernandez he has come in for 550k which I personally think is an absolute steal and we've brought him in from Mallorca. Now he is a striker. You will notice he's already got a couple of goals, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I just think if you look at his stats, they're just brilliant. And I compared him to Ronnie, and he is he's actually a, a slight step up on Ronnie. He's a four-star ability player, but he's got that half a star more that he could currently get. He's 23, so if we can develop him over the next couple of years, I think he could be a solid player in this year, uh, in this um, league. So I'm very, very happy with this sign. Right, next guy joining the club is Rashid. He is an Algerian centre mid. He's going to uh, play the advanced playmaker role for us in the centre mid. I actually think he's going to be a starter. We brought in uh, Mature as well on a free transfer that we spoke about in the last episode. But this guy is slightly... He, like his mentals and physicals are a lot better than Mature's. I think Mature has just got sort of like corners and crossing that are slightly better than this guy's. But overall, I think this guy's a better player. He's got four star current ability with a uh, potential of four and a half star. And uh, yeah, he's coming for nothing really. 700k for a player like this. Um, he's very, very solid and very consistent when I looked at his stats for the other clubs that he's played for. And I'm really, really happy with his signing. And last, but by no means least, is Samir Vajrami. He is a right back, but he's very versatile. He can play both fullback roles and he can play a bit further up the pitch. Um, I've brought him in to play fullback. He's got a current ability of three and a half stars with a potential of three and a half to four and a half stars. Now, he is a work in process. He's cost me 1.1 million, but a lot of that is broken down into like appearance fees and all the rest of it. I paid outright like sort of uh, 600K for him. So it depends if he develops, if the other club get all that money. We bought him in from Stuttgart, where he actually played a few games last season. He is a work in progress, obviously, but we needed right backs after Yasser left and Sebast just isn't really that good uh, good enough for this league. We're going to keep Sebast because this guy is more of a backup left back and they start in right back. So 
I'm really happy with his signing. The stats don't look amazing, but he's consistent on his scout report, so hopefully that will stand for something. Now, that is all of the transfers wrapped up. I'm just gonna head over to the fixtures now. We're gonna discuss uh, what's been happening and what is gonna happen this episode. Right, guys, so here we are. These are the fixtures, as you will see. Pre-season went very well. We got four wins and a draw, and we averaged three goals a game, which is insane. Now, you will see I've already played a game uh, of this season. And you're probably thinking, why didn't you start this with playing a game, first game of the season for us? Basically, I wanted to give you a more exciting episode. So, basically, we've got, Gal 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 we've got Galatasaray, third game of the season. We're going to play Maliatspor first, and then we're going to play Galatasaray, which is massive. Now... That being said, you know what we're going to do. We're just going to head to the tactics. I'm going to show you. I've made a few tweaks. Then we're going to press on, play the first game. Let's get into it. So, tactics screen. It all looks the same. You're, I know you're all thinking that. But what's happened is the mentality has been dropped back to control. We can't be as gung-ho in this league. We're not strong enough. Um, so we're going to try and just control possession so that we frustrate the other team. So even if we're not winning but we're picking up points and we're drawing because we need to get to that magic marker of 35 to survive in this league, really. So that's what I'm concentrating more on. It, this is going to be a relegation dogfight. I know we won that first game of the season 2-0, but let's not kid ourselves. This is going to be hard. So the mentality has been dropped back to control on the main um, tactic. And what's going to happen is when I play the big boys, this centre mid role here is going to be dropped. He's going to become a ball winning midfielder but he's going to protect the defence. And these guys are going to be pushed up a little bit more. The uh, advanced playmaker role is going to be made attacking. So he gets forward and he supports the um, he supports the striker, basically. Because the striker role has now been changed to an advanced forward rather than the deep line forward there it was. Because I feel with an advanced forward role, you score more goals. And goals are money in this league. That is basically what we're aiming for. Even if we lose, you score as many goals as possible because your goal difference can play uh, a big part in relegation. So that's basically, that's my thinking behind it all. Now, let's move on. First game against Maliaspor. Let's do this, shall we? Right, guys, this is the squad we are going with today. It is brand new, I hear you say. I'm a rhymer. Yeah. Um... Fuck me, that was shit. Anyway, we're going with Ennis in goal. We're going to go with uh, Bajrami at right back. We're going to go with Omar at left back. We're going to go with Ogan and Mustafa in the centre back positions. We're going to go with uh, Merkan, ball winning midfielder. No, no, we're not. Uh, box to box midfielder. Salafu, ball winning midfielder. Rashid, advanced playmaker. Then we're going to go with Ishmael on the right. And we're going to go with Fosu on the left. And we're going to go with Hernandez up front. This is a brand new team. Half of them don't even speak Turkish. This could be, you know, a bit of a mistake, but this is the best team we've got now. Let's go for it. Right, here we go. We are kicking off. Now, that first fixture, we won it 2-0. It wasn't comfortable. It was very up and down. All right, well, that was a very quick and boring first half. Nothing happened. This is the trouble with going to control. You kind of play the game like you don't want to lose. Um, you go a bit more defensive, but it it's needs must. Um, but let's so we can get in the second half and get some goals. Right, second half is kicking off. We need it to be a bit more exciting. So... You know, I'm just going to see how this goes. But here we go. Fosu into the box. Fosu's going to pick this up. Another ball in. Head out. And it's a goal. Ogon scores. Rises higher than everybody else. Bottom corner. Cartel Spa. 1-0 out. Right, Ennis with the goal kick. Kicking it long to Ishmael. Doesn't win it though. Salafu. That's great play. Rashid. He's coming forward. He's going past his man. Brilliant play by Rashid. Very patient. He's gone past a few players there. Out to Bejrami. Into Merkan. Rashid back to Bajrami. Ball in the box. It's a goal. Fosu with his first for the club. Back post. 2 0 Castle Spore. This is fucking magnificent. Right, I'm just going to make a change, guys. Uh, Salafi has played okay, but I'm a bit worried about him getting sent off. Um, so we're going to bring Bakai on and just switch Merkan and Bakai. And yeah, that's all we're going to do for now. And you'll notice this new thing with control. 
54% of the possession. We've had enough shots still. We're still attacking. We're still going forward. This is what I like about it. It needed to be. It needed to happen because we were leaking too many goals at the end of last season. As I say all this, they're coming forward, but Bajrami rises well there and heads the ball out. I just needed to tweak that tactic and make it harder for other teams. That's all it was. Uh, they're coming forward though. They're doing well. They're pressing me, passing this ball around well. And this is going to be a goal. No, it ain't. Ennis, superstar in goal. Right, time is whittling down. I'm actually going to bring Ogarn off. He's uh, not very fit at the moment. And I am going to bring... I'm going to bring Haki on for Fosu. He's played well, but he's blown out of his bum a little bit. Corner, end of the game. Oh, Hernandez. Brilliant, brilliant win for Carl Spohr. 2 Nil. Come on, the boys. As you can see there, brilliant on the stats. 17 shots, 54% possession, but second in the league after two games. Yes. Now, this is this is the thing I was um, explaining to you guys. Every time you win, you get 526k, which is incredible. So during the course of the season, if we have a semi-decent season, I'm not in any way trying to say we're gone over because we are relegation favourites. We're Media prediction bottom, which is mental, um, but it is what it is. But if we have a decent enough season, we could make quite a bit of money and we could get like a lot of profit. So even if we do get relegated, the, if we do lose some of those players that we've signed, we will still be able to strengthen, which you know I'm happy about. So I'm, I'm not going to be a defeatist. We are keeping this club up, but I'm just saying the money matters in football. Right, guys, here we go. Second game of the episode. It's Galatasaray versus Kartalspor. We are away from home, and this is our first huge fixture of the season. Now, as you can see, Salafu has been dropped into that defensive uh, midfield position and I just think against the bigger clubs it's something we've got to do I'm going to actually go with the same team we played really well in that last game the bench is strong um, and you know just really happy with this team at the moment so Ennis in goal uh, Bajrami at right back Ogan and Mustafa centre back Omar at left back we're going to go with Salafu in the defensive midfield position we're going to go with Merkant and Rashid in centre mid Ishmael and Fosu on the wings Hernandez up front Ronnie on the bench to make the impact. Let's do this. Right, kicking off in the first half. Right, so throw in to Galasasaray a minute into the game. Salafu picked up a yellow card in 13 seconds. Wow, that ball over the top has completely done us. Podolski is in, but good defending, saved by Ennis. If you can hear a lot of background noise today, my wife is cleaning up. Driving me mental, she's making so much noise, like an elephant. Right, so throw in to us. Salafu into Hernandez. Hernandez tries to go past his man. Unlucky from him. It's been defended though by them. They've got the ball. They're going to work it out from the back. Now they are such a good team. They really, really are. I'm jealous of it. But that's a great play by Merkan to cut that out. Ogan with the ball. Don't do anything silly. Goes back to the goalkeeper. Ennis kicks out to Mustafa. Mustafa into Omer. Omo with the ball inside to Merkan. Merkan driving forward into Rashid. Rashid with the ball. Come on, don't do anything silly now. Hernandez is oh, unlucky. Hernandez has been cut out though. Good defending by Gal um, Galasas right now. It's a strong oh, no. Ogan's taken his man. I'm a bit worried. This could be a sending off. Last man. Oh, it's a straight red. Oh, for fuck's sake. oh dear, dear, dear. That has made things hard for us. Um, I'm actually. I'm actually going to take Salafu off. He's on a yellow card, and it's so difficult when you've got a defensive midfielder on a yellow card. So we're going to drop Weisinger in to uh, centre mid. It's not his strongest position um, on the right side there. We're going to drop Merkan into the defensive mid uh, position. I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to take Fosu off. We're going to bring Bakai on. We're going to leave him out wide for now. He's going to have to do a different job. Um, deep line playmaker defend. And we will have him on central mid support. 
I know the left side is completely open now, but what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate attacking down the right side of the pitch with Ishmael. And we're just going to have to play it like this. I've got a feeling we're in for a drop in now. It's one of those things, you know, with that foul there. He's tried to win the ball and it's just not worked out. But Galassas right on the ball now, working it into the area. And that's a penalty. Oh, God, it goes from bad to worse. We were doing well up to that point. We were frustrating them. Ennis, he misses the save, and it's 1-0 Galatasaray. No surprise in this match. Right, guys, it's half-time. That's 1-0 Galatasaray. We've did, you know, Ogon sending off has made it really hard for us. Actually, reviewing that, that's a yellow card, because he's way out on the wing. He's never going to score from there, is he? I actually feel a bit uh, sorry for Ogon there. I'm a bit frustrated with that. Um, we're going to play on, keep things as they are, play on, and I might make some changes soon, but let's get into the second half. Right, kicking off in this second half. This is a uphill struggle now. Hi right, guys, I'm going to make some changes. Uh, Ishmael really hasn't done much, so we're going to pull him off. And we're going to bring uh, Mature on. And we're going to go to a diamond. Um, I think, yeah, we'll leave it like that because Rashid's got better tackling. We're actually going to go to a diamond now. Um, we're going to have Mature playing in behind. Actually, we're going to just actually check this. No, Mature, Mature is better in that position, definitely. So, yeah, we're going to have Mature playing in behind Hernandez. We're going to play a diamond system. So, we are going to change these instructions we're going to pull this off and we're going to go look for the overlap and work the ball into the box um and we are going to mix the passing up a little bit because we might be able to get some balls over the top and we're just going to see if this works really we're playing for we're playing to just not get bad or nick a goal so let's just hope these changes can make a difference all right it's so a goal kick to ennis he kicks the ball up one though by Galatasaray. They're coming forward now. They look like a very good team, don't they? Um, it's come wide, and oh no, Bejrami is off as well. Bullshit. This is annoying because I don't have the players on tackle hard or any of that stuff. I've just got them closing down. So why are they getting sent off the way they are? Is just an arse ache. Because I am fucked now. What am I supposed to do now? I've made my free changes. Fuck. Um, how am I going to get out of this game alive? Right, li literally, this is all I can do. Like, I'm, I, I'm fucked, basically, now. I can't really change much. I can't influence much. Fuck. Um, yeah, this is literally, this is the, this is just, don't get battered now. We're going to play this. This is the men most mental formation I think I've ever had to play in Football Manager. We're going to go free at the back. I've dropped Merkan in because his heading is a lot better than Omer's. Um, and then we're going to play Omer at defensive mid, even though he can't play there. Mature's being dropped back in. And yeah, this is mental now. Let's just hope we don't get battered. It's just going to be, it's just going to, they're literally just going to fucking go at us now. I'm going to drop it to defensive. We've lost the game. We're not going to get back in this. We've only had two shots anyway. Just it's a case of not getting battered, and uh, as Podolski cuts inside, he shoots, he's hit the post, it's followed up by Dacio. Fuck my life, what is going on with these sendings off? Oh, mate, Galatasaray are going to ruin us now. Absolutely wrecking us. Nine men, how am I supposed to come out of this alive? Just don't anyone else get sent off. Fuck. Look how easy it is for him now. Three nil. Right, I've changed the tactic up a little bit. Weisinger's going to go left back. Omer's going to go right back. Don't know. It might help us not get people anymore. And there we have it. A three nil loss to Galatasaray. The sendings off affected that game. I actually thought we were we were decent enough. When we were in the game, it's just two sendings off and it happens. Right, guys, well, that is that. I'm bitterly disappointed after that last game. Um, we played really well in the first two games um, of the season. A couple of sendings off really, really affected us. And they're really going to affect us going forward because our squad's going to be a lot weaker for 
the next couple of games. But it is what it is, and we move on. But as you can see, uh, we got the 2 0 win against Maliatspor, and then we got a 3 0 defeat against Galat Gallet Sassarai. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. We still, we know, we're still looking strong. We've picked up six points in the first three fixtures. Can't complain with that. Now going forward, this is the um, you know the elite division in Turkey. So I would like to play a few more games for you guys. So I might not continue on as far as uh, I usually would. But what I am going to do is I'm going to play the next fixture, I'm going to play the uh, cup fixture, I'm going to play the game against Ak Hisar Boulevard, and then the next game we're going to pick up is going to be against Sivaspor. It's the next home fixture uh, in the league uh, after a few games, and I think in the next episode we will play Sivaspor, we're going to play um, Genklia Bir Iglu, I think that's how you say that, and Urfaspor. We'll do a three game episode in the next one. It's going to be a big one. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Now, before we go, let's head over to the league table, show you guys how we're doing. So, this is the league table as it stands. You can see we're in sixth place. Only three games are gone, but I'm happy that we've picked up a couple of victories. The 3-0 loss against Galatasaray, well, you know, it is what it is. They're a massive club. I don't really don't expect us to be beating the clubs that are that big anyway. But it's a positive start for Carlos Spohr. I'm happy, hope you're happy. Right guys, well there you go, another episode of the Cartel Spory in the wraps. It's a good enough start for me to the beginning of this super, super season in the Turkish Super League. Now, if you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you're dropping me a like on the video. If this is your first time here, you like what you see, make sure you're smashing the shit out of my subscribe button. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, at Fandangles, and share all my content with your friends. Until next time, I've been Dan, you've been a legend. Peace out, my homies.